welcome to vision academy tutorial in the second lecture on pricing of futures and forwards today we will address price of an assets that pays no dividend there are some assets that no pay, pays no dividend uh, the evaluation of such assets will be carried uh, in this lecture today such type of assets uh, maybe we can have an example of zero coupon bond in which that uh, Periodical coupon you will you won't get but at the end of the maturity you will get principal plus interest that is coupon both you will get at the maturity such type of evaluation will be made under this session the formula we use to calculate price of an assets that pays no dividend is F4 that is a huge forward price uh, today actually we will calculate this for uh, forward uh, contract and s4 is price of underlying asset price of underlying asset in which in the co forward contract you contracted today the contracting price of underlying assets at the time of contract that is s4 and e is a irrational mathematically irrational which is uh, indicated by 2.78 something uh, that will be and minus rt that r is as usually risk rate risk free rate of rate, uh, interest per annum and t is usually time time when the forward contracts mature so t is a time when the forward contracts mature r is a risk free rate of interest uh, per annum e is a mathematically ir irrational and so is a contracted price when the contract you uh, you got a contract that price so by using this you will find price of an assets in the futures uh, it means after maturity okay so here we have a problem so for which we will calculate price of an asset that pays no dividend look at here consider a forward contracts to buy a zero coupon bond zero coupon bond means the coupon in which you won't get periodical uh, returns that is coupon but at the end of the maturity you will get receive coupon plus premium yeah yeah coupon plus principal amount both you will receive so it is coming under price of an assets that pays no dividend case so we will have a, a solution for this so that will mature in six months the time given here is six months from today the current price of the bond is 850 rupees 850 rupees assume that risk free rate of interest uh, is a 10 percent find the theoretical futures price of the contract so we have time six month for the formula we re required time look at here time t r rate of return and so contracted price today we need three details uh, for which i am extracting from the problem okay so time is six months that uh, 6 by 12 you can take 6 by 12 r is risk free rate of free interest that is a 10 percent in this example so 0 0.10 converted into 100 0 0.10 and so so is a contracted price of a forward contract is a 850 then let us calculate the price of an asset that pays no dividend let's calculate the problem for where the price of an assets that pays no dividend and then in this case the futures uh, value of the bond will be so here i have taken formula as it is that is fo future price of the bond sfo is the present presently contracted price of a forward contract e is a mathematically ir irrational that's a given 2.78 uh, symbol and minus rt so e power minus is a mathematically rational and uh, r is a rate of return ra rate of interest and t is a time so here in this case so is uh, 850 derived from the problem and e uh, e power r my rt that's a r is 0 0.10 percent 10 percent 0 0.1 and into six month time is six month so six month six by tw uh, 12 okay i will uh, simplify this for problem and 0 0.10 into 0 0.05 will be 0 0.00 uh, 0 0.05 so 850 into 0 0.05 will be 42.5 this is the 
growth in your price uh, in the in, in your investment that pays uh, the asset some assets that pays no dividend in this case the bond will grow at this rate at uh, the 42.55 rupees will be increased in the bond value which, which means if you invest 850 rupees in uh, bond uh, after 6 months at the rate of uh, 10% it will be yield eight, uh, uh, 42.5 rupees so now uh, let us uh, take again for contracted price to know the total value total value of the cont uh, con uh, contract 850 plus 42.5 so total future value of the bond will be 893 rupees 893 rupees so in this way we will calculate the future price of a, a bond the, that pays no dividend in the in the per, per present case okay let us move into the another problem that problem number two the in which uh, a forward contract on a non-dividend paying that means no, no dividend uh, in the stock no dividend is paying in the stock that matures in three months from today three months time from today the stock is currently selling in the market currently selling in the market that means ASO for 1700 rupees assume that the risk free rate of interest is 8% find the theoretical price of a contract so that uh, time is three months the rate is 8% and the price currently selling price is SO is 1700 then let us calculate for this so I have taken formula as it is and SO the currently forward contract the currently selling is 1700 rupees E is a mathematically rational and R is 8% and time is 3 months time is 3 months R is 8% so I will uh, calculate this thing that uh, 0 0.08 uh, taken as it is here 0 0.08 and uh, 3 by 12 0 0.25 0 0.08 into 0 0.25 will be 0 0.02 0 0.02 now 1700 into 0 0.02 which would be 34 34 rupees the stock will yield for 3 months at 8% interest rate will yield 34 rupees now to know the future value of the uh, contract the current price of a contract which pays no dividend 17,000 is current price the contracted price plus 34 which is a yielding rate yielding amount so totally future value future price of the stock that uh, contracted today at uh, 7,700 rupees at 8% in uh, rate of uh, interest and the for 3 months is 1734 so in this way you will calculate the uh, future price of the stock bond whatever by using this formula so this is how you will calculate the, uh, the price of an asset that pays no dividend ok let us move into the another segment called basis contango and backwardation and these three concepts are used to determine the pattern of futures uh, for forwards contract usually this pattern will be indicated by curves okay curves so in that first one is basis which is an important aspect in futures market of basis this refers to and uh, which will describe used to describe the difference between the cash price and futures price it will be denoted by cash price minus futures price this will be indicated as basis basis very basis which is important for backwardation and uh, contango, uh, contango type if future price is accurately described by a full carry relationship the basis is negative since futures price are higher than the cash price ok actually these are curves to indicate the pattern of market uh, for commodity market these are very important and in the backwardation in the backwardation futures price is less than the cash price so futures prices are less than the 
cash prices this is the case of backwardation which means that uh, normally futures price must be greater than greater than cash price that means you contracted price but in the backwardation it went to backward that's a pattern indicated by future prices are less than the cash price and coming to contego the here future prices are higher than the cash price future prices are higher than the cash price which means is which is a moving uh, moving further uh, for the uh, uh, basis where future prices are higher than cash price which is not going to equal or lesser which is higher than cash price these three things are useful to analyze and understand the trend of the commodity market by using curves thank you so much for watching and uh, wait for uh, further lectures thank you